In order to detect a photon, the device must first absorb it. Their presentations could make even the most educated and informed scientists scratch their heads in wonder. It is caused by protozoan parasites that are spread by phlebotomous female sand flies. That the presenters are high school students, some of whom aren't even old enough to drive, all of whom clearly enjoy typical teen stuff, is almost incomprehensible. Even to the judges at the 2012 Siemens competition in math, science and technology, national finals in Washington, D.C. We, as judges, were uh, very surprised to encounter such sophistication and incredible depth these students have exhibited. The top individual this year, Kenson Shi from College Station, Texas. He won a $100,000 scholarship for developing a new algorithm that can help robots navigate more quickly and effectively. I don't really know what to think. I mean, uh, when, I, when I realized I won that $100,000, I mean, my mind just blanked. I was insanely happy. Jeremy Applebaum, William Gill, and Alan Shin of Long Island, New York, will share a $100,000 scholarship for their team project. They found a new way to research COP1, a protein that acts as a tumor suppressor in humans and controls light-dependent development in plants. It's amazing. I mean, words can't explain it. I mean, we were honestly expecting semifinalists at most, you know, and, and that was, you know, uneasy. But, you know, to be able to be honored with this great uh, position and prize is just, I, I'm, I'm just... I'm so happy. <laughs> and arguably each of the 19 finalists who edged out more than 2,200 students in several rounds of competition has reason to be proud. And that's in addition to the extra scholarship money they've all just earned. Among the creations, inventions, and research developed by these students, geolocation software to identify where a photo was taken. It's now being used by FEMA in the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy a painless painkiller that may reduce unwanted side effects and addiction, and a method to auto-tune the brain to improve the study of neurological disorders. STEM is the answer to a lot of the problems that occur in the globe today. And highlighting young people to be able to enter these careers makes us feel very good that the future to be able to solve these issues is, is in safe hands. Today, yeah, yeah. winners of one of the most prestigious science competitions for teens. Tomorrow, a patent, a Nobel Prize. At this rate, anything is possible. I'm Kate Brooks.